likable. Now more than ever, it's important to us. This week, we talk about why don't you like me right here on The Brandpreneur. Hey, my name is Nick F. Nelson and you are watching The Brandpreneur, the place where we help you build your brand and run it like a business. So, what does being likable have to do with your brand, especially your personal brand? Well, quite frankly, people tend to do business with individuals that they like. I've been in scenarios where I've seen other people be liked more than I am, and even though I might have been more qualified for that particular position, there was a relationship there between that person and the decision maker that I just didn't have. They were liked more than I was. Although I might come across like I have a degree of personality now, that was not always the case. The confidence that you see before you right now is a culmination of years of experience in me working to get outside of my comfort zone and try different things. You are gonna have to do the same thing in order to be liked. Now, there will be some of you who say, Nick, I don't care to be liked. I'd much rather be respected. And I understand. However, I challenge you, wouldn't it be even better if you were both liked and respected? Just think how much further you could go. I honestly believe a balance can be achieved between the two. Being unlikable, there's a risk that you could harm your own career progression and quite frankly be an irritation to others. People just won't want to be around you. At some point in time, being liked is just good business. In Jeffrey Gitmore's The Little Red Book of Selling, he says, all else being equal, people do business with people they like. So how do I get people to like me both online and offline? The first thing you have to realize in order to make people like you is that it's not all about you. What that means online is that you'll look at your feed and it's more than just pictures of, look at me, I'm doing all these wonderful things, I'm in this wonderful place, I'm hanging around all these wonderful people. Every picture you see across your nine walls of Instagram is just you. Now, I know you like you. I know you're great. However, there is a risk that that might come off across as you being superficial or self-centered. Everybody doesn't have your life. Quite frankly, you don't even have your life. It's funny, with social media these days, all we end up doing is crafting the most perfect parts of our day and put those on display. Yes, it's okay to post pictures of yourself, but in between those, how about leaving a comment on somebody else's photo, telling them how great they look or congratulating them on an accomplishment, sharing a piece of information that your audience might find interesting, providing a word of encouragement, uplifting somebody else and congratulating them and sharing their accomplishments with those who follow you. These are ways online that you can make it not all about you. Now, let's talk about offline. One of the biggest ways that we show it's all about us and not about the other person offline is that we're not listening. Have you ever been in a conversation where you're thinking about the next thing that you're going to say and you're not really paying attention to what the other person is asking? Believe it or not, that shows. One thing you might want to do to show the other person that you are listening is to ask lots of questions. People love to talk about themselves. You might not even have a genuine interest or you might lose interest after a while. But believe it or not, by you doing this, you're getting that other person to like you. Don't you like it when somebody takes an interest in what it is that you're doing? Don't you like it when people take an interest in what you have to say? Believe it or not, other people do as well. Next, in order to get people to like you, quite frankly, you have to be attractive and interesting and so does your content. Yes, we live in a very superficial, vain world. People are just naturally attracted to good looking people. Now, looks are very judgmental. However, what I recommend is that you do pay attention to how you dress, how you articulate yourself. Understand the environment that you're gonna be in and dress appropriately. Bottom line, you look the very best that you can look for you. Now, beyond looking good, you actually have to be interesting. There's a character that I've always loved called the most interesting man in the world. He's a handsome guy doing incredible things around what appears to be incredible people. He is the most interesting man in the world. Well, your objective should be the most interesting person in the room. You're charismatic, let that shine. If you're not charismatic, work on it before you go to that after work get together. Do some research, find out about the various people that are gonna be in the room. Have something interesting to say. I don't care if you have to look online at the latest current events, but just have something to say. Now, how does that resonate online? Sometimes we can be very rushed in our postings of content. We like to be real time and in the moment. However, that doesn't come off polished and clean. What happens is we have pictures that are blurry that don't look our best and aren't the best representation of us. Sometimes even spelling and grammar mistakes. Or for all my bloggers out there, you'll spend so much time 
focused on the content and have all of these words when people actually naturally gravitate to your post via images. Spend the right amount of time crafting those images and then also the title of your post. That's actually what's going to pull them in to read all of that great content. Lastly, whatever you're posting has to be relevant for your specific audience. My audience is business professionals, entrepreneurs, influencers that want to learn more about branding and branding themselves. If I'm talking about horses or rock climbing, my audience is like, huh? That doesn't make any sense. Think about those individuals that are attracted to your feed. Who are your followers? And then craft your content appropriately for them. If you do that, the likelihood of them sharing your content increases. And it's with the sharing of that content that increases your likes. Next, in order to be more likable, you should be more inclusive. Be that connector. Get groups together. Be that individual that helps to spread a wealth of information or at least collect those individuals that have the information together so that they can connect and connect others. Doing this makes you more likable. It also makes you more valuable. It gives people a reason to come to you because they like you. The same thing can go for online in terms of being inclusive. Again, as you have information, share that information. Target specific groups to share your postings. If you really want extra credit, start a group. Get people together online. Taking that online concept and bringing it to life through meetups also is a very good way to be a connector. With social media, they have such great tools, one of them being tagging. Tag somebody on information to make certain that they do see it on their feed. A little bit of care and inclusiveness goes a long way. Next, in order to be likable, you should pay attention. What does that mean offline? A classic example of that is, you know, when your phone is ringing, ignore it. Nothing will turn a person off more than answering a text message or taking that quick glance at your phone when you're in mid-conversation. When you're in conversation, be in the moment. That makes you more likable. And people respect you for that. They think that their time is valuable. Now, how does that resonate online? classic example here is look at other people's timelines, see what's going on in their lives. We have a culture of sharing nowadays. Every once in a while I'll see that post where it looks like somebody's going through something. That's when I offer a word of encouragement either online or better yet, I'll pick up the phone. You paying attention to what's going on in the lives of others matters. Whether it's family photos or the accomplishments of others. Paying attention and then commenting, providing feedback, all of that lends itself quite well to make you likable. Lastly, be responsive and human. What does that mean offline? Offline, that means if somebody gives you a call, call them back. Somebody sends you an email, email them back. If you don't have time, at least say, hey, I got the message. People just appreciate a response. Now, I know we all have busy lives. And as much as I'm telling you to respond, honestly, I don't do as good a job at responding. It's something that we can all work on. In addition to being responsive, I also want you to be human. Be your authentic self. Leverage your authentic voice, both offline and then online. If you're funny or you like to make jokes, do so. The worst thing that can happen is a person knows you online but meets you offline and there's just a disconnect. You'll confuse them, you'll lose them, and they quite honestly just might not like you. As we take it online, being authentic in your writing, in your tone. The interesting thing about blogging and writing online is that it doesn't always have to be perfect grammar. Now, there shouldn't be misspellings and things of that nature, but you can relax it a bit. The key here is for you to sound and be authentic. And then also for that authentic self to translate from online to offline. People really want to see the real you. And if you let them see it, they just might like you. If you understand that it's not all about you, you work to present yourself in your very best possible light by being attractive and interesting. You remain inclusive, pay attention to others, and if you are responsive and human, you just might get people to like you. And being liked, well, that's just good business. Well, that's our time for today. Thank you for watching Brandpreneur. My name is Nick F. Nelson. Uh, if you could, please subscribe to this channel for me. I'm working very hard to provide content that you find useful in your everyday business and personal life. If you have questions or you have feedback, please feel free to email me at nick at nickfnelson.com. And believe it or not, I will respond to you. Like I always say at the end of all of my episodes, never be afraid to promote your business or yourself and do it shamelessly.